Carrie here at Paper Arts in Dallas. Today I want to share with you a little bit about how I prepare for a steamroller event. I prefer working on the MDF board, which you can get at any of the big box home repair hardware stores. Comes in a four foot by eight foot sheets. They will cut it to size for you. I usually get two 24 by 36 inch sheets and two 30 by 48 inch out of the one four foot by eight foot sheet of MDF. You can also use plywood uh, to carve onto. I prefer the MDF because it's a little bit more fluid in carving. I don't have to deal with grain direction. Uh, easier to carve, that's the main key right there. So I have my matrix and I wanna prepare it to transfer my drawing onto. Sometimes people will draw directly onto the board and so it's really important if you're gonna transfer or draw on the board with a water-based ink or watercolor that you seal the block slightly and this also will allow you when you carve you'll see the light color of board underneath and be able to see the detail that you're carving. So I usually will just create a really thin dilution of denatured alcohol with a little bit of bullseye shellac and some vermilion ink and I brush that all over the surface. I don't have to be real careful. It doesn't matter about brush strokes because I'll be sanding this down later when I seal it again. So it's time now to simply transfer the drawing to the board. Now I prefer to use the red double-sided uh, carbon paper that I get from McLean's. Some might think that this is an expensive product, but I'll tell you, I have only bought two packages in the last 12 years. So it's really a good value and I love how it transfers. You can also go to the office supply and just get a standard carbon transfer paper. You can use the graphite transfer paper or create your own transfer paper by rubbing uh, pencil or graphite on the back of your drawing. And then we get to the point of the drawing. Now I've spent a lot of time in doing a drawing and I may not need all of the detail that I transfer, so I'll just transfer the outline. But what I like to remind everybody about, and all of us need constant reminder, is that when we carve, we are carving in reverse. So if you have directionality in your drawing, if there are words in your drawing, they need to be backwards. And so I will flip my drawing over, I'll have my carbon paper underneath the drawing, and then I can simply transfer the drawing to the block. And then it's time to start carving.